Hello, everyone, and uh, happy belated holidays. Uh, it's me, your boy, Jersey Joe. Uh, this year, so far, the first half of the uh, NHL season, uh, the team that Ray Shearer has put together really has uh, been implemented with the fast, attacking, and supportive uh, trio that are the main pillars of this team. And... I would like to get at this part very quickly. A lot of people over the years have been on Corey Schneider's case. Corey Schneider has proven to get at least 15 wins already. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets 27 or even 30 at this pace he's going at. But also his defense. Despite losing Mirko Mueller to an upper body injury... Um, after that one game he had where he was getting off really good on playing defense. Um, I would say Sammy Votnin for Adam Henrik has really benefited both teams. Um, Sammy Votnin is a really great uh, two-way player. He started to shoot the puck more now that he's gotten more uh, playing time with the Devils and he's really started to contribute to this team. And I definitely like the way Steven Santini's playing. He's a, I know he's a more of a stay-at-home defender. Although, when he was playing for Team USA in UFA Russia, he was actually more of a two-way player. But as you get older, when these young kids come up as defenders, they start to develop uh, to be more, not conservative, but more stay-at-home. So... Santini does have a really good shot. I don't think he uses as much. But he's been really good at quarterbacking the plays. Now, Will Butcher. Will Butcher, the Denver University uh, Hobie Baker Award winner, has really implemented a two-way play. Although he's starting to play better defense, you could argue the, the past couple of games, the one where I think it was he assists on Brian Boyle's goal. Against Vancouver, which was a really good goal. And, of course, this kid is only going to get better as he ages. And it's a great thing Ray Shiro and Paul Castron also kept tabs on him. Especially after losing Alexander Kerfoot. It kind of feels like a shot in the foot. No pun intended. But when you get a kid like Butcher, it really takes the pain off. Uh, I really do like the way... Uh, Jesper Bratt, back in 2016 draft, in the later rounds, I remember watching footage of him thinking, this kid could be something, but I'm not sure if he's going to be a flash in the pan. But as soon as I heard over the summer uh, that he had a uh, commitment letter to play for the London Knights in the Ontario Hockey League in the CHL, uh, for those who don't know... Uh, London is basically the equivalent to like the New York Yankees of Canadian Hockey League, where they're very superior. Every other year, they're in the playoffs. If you want to put an NHL equivalent, that would be like uh, our generation's Detroit Red Wings constantly making the playoffs and being superior and great players. And anyways, um, London was... Very close to getting Jesper Bratt for the season. And that's why he is not playing for Team Sweden in these World Juniors for the the under-18s. So, Jesper had a really good game one to the start of the season. And he has really been something. He's going to be a forward that the Devils are going to enjoy for years to come. And... I know I've been bragging about Nico Heischer. Um, that kid is only going to get better. He's a playmaker. He's a two-way player. This kid, he's was he's only going to get better as he gets older. And he has really good hockey IQ. And I cannot doubt him. He's learned a lot from Taylor Hall. Taylor Hall himself has had a very sharp season. And his team, the Edmonton Oilers are not doing so great, whereas some people might refer to them as hot garbage. 
Anyways, I would definitely say that Kyle Palmieri, although a few injuries, but I think when he comes back and he stays the full course, you're going to have a top six line that's already producing big time. And they just need to keep staying healthy. And the Devils training staff has been very good about this, being very cautious. And I wouldn't be surprised if um, the way Brian Boyle has been, he's had, like, Matt Laughlin on W the Fan uh, said he had, like, what, five goals and four assists in his past several games. That's remarkable. I was actually at the game not only – when NBCSN had the Tampa Bay Devils win game in the shootout with Kyle Paul Mary. But I also happened to see not long ago the Devils defeat LA 5 to 1 with Jonathan Quick in net. And Brian Boyle had a two goal game. And Taylor Hall had a two goal game. Brian Gibbons also had a breakaway uh, third period goal on. Jonathan Quick. And I tell you, with the speed of this Devils team, and of course, you know who's a good uh, ideal player is Miles Wood. Although he's starting to get his uh, foot speed, his hand-eye coordination, he's looking more like a power forward. He's starting to become better than his father. No doubt. Sorry, Mr. Wood. But Miles, you really are becoming a really good player. Top nine forward, easily. And I I honestly like pickles. I don't necessarily mean the food. I do mean Blake Coleman, who drank from the pickle jar for the pickle juice for the rehydration. And that goal versus the Rangers was impressive. I must say, I'm starting to sound like a canary, but I just want this Devils team to keep pushing on all cylinders for the rest of the season. And I know since American Thanksgiving, yes, American Thanksgiving, which is after Canadian Thanksgiving, the one that's a month before. So uh, American Thanksgiving and Boxing Day, the Devils are in first place. What I expect this team to do is just keep going at the same pace and not get ahead of themselves. And as long as Ray Shiro and John Hines keep the way that we're going, it looks like we're probably going to get Jared McIsaac um, in the NHL draft, who is someone who I like, who happens to play for Team Canada. Nothing wrong with that. A Halifax Moosehead, who happens to be a teammate of uh, Nico Heischer. You know, there's always some sort of speculation. Fans like to throw things out there. Anyways, I know there's going to be more of that draft talk later, but... That's just a theory I have, and to all my fellow Devils fans and also non-Devils fans, if you want to hear more from me about different things and perspectives, I certainly would like to hear from you in the comment section below. Be polite or politely rude, you know, like joking polite. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I would like to thank... Uh, Ray Shiro and Paul Castro for a wonderful first half, but we must stay the course and Godspeed and let's go Devils, baby.